uh, Wednesday edition. Don't forget every Monday to join me on the radio, our third year of the Wally George Great American Radio Show on that great radio station, KLAC, 570 on the AM dial, number one country music station in Southern California, and we're proud to be there on Mondays uh, for a radio special. 7 to 10 p.m. every Monday, you can call me on the phone for three hours. You and I can talk on the phone together, yelling to each other if, we, if you want to. Monday nights, 7 to 10, call me on the phone on KLAC 570 on the AM dial. Okay, now, I have been telling you that I am the originator of combat talk shows. And to prove my point, about uh, four years ago, when Morton Downey Jr. was still working at some little radio station back in the, in the Midwest, and uh, Geraldo Rivera was a reporter on ABC. Uh, and when nobody was doing the kind of thing I was doing, we were creating headline news with my combat talk show, Hot Seat. Let's go back four years, and this was on the network, the network news across the country. When I had on Hot Seat, Irv Rubin from the Jewish Defense League taking on Tom Metzger, former Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan, I'll tell you, all heck <laughs> broke out. Watch this now. Watch. Here's the clip. This is what took place even before the taping of the hot seat television show at KDOC in Anaheim. Host Wally George had already seated Tom Metzger, the former Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan, but when Irv Rubin, the leader of the Jewish Defense League, was being led to his seat for the debate, you see how hot things got. When it was finally calm enough, the exchange began between Metzger and Rubin, with Wally George in between. You are so insignificant. You are so insignificant like that toupee on your head. <laughs> And as the audience of over 75 watched and listened, it got hotter. You're such a punk. Don't you ever call Parasite? Again, it settled down, but not for long. Tonight, even host Wally George got more than he expected. I wanted to bring these two on together, hoping against hope that we could have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue. Unfortunately, Irv Rubin happens to be a very emotional man, rightfully so, I think, and so the violence erupted. Okay, that was it, boy. And long before Geraldo ever had any kind of eruption, that happened four years ago, folks. Network, network news generated right here from KDOC. Okay, do we have time? Yes, I...